Welcome back to Movie Recaps. Today I will show you a sci-fi, thriller film from 2018, titled Tao. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. Julia is a cunning young woman, who steals and resells her loot to survive on the mean streets of a futuristic city. One night, she doesn't notice that she's being followed by a man and leads him straight to her apartment. Once she's settled in for the night she hears something and when she checks it out, she gets kidnapped by her stalker. In the next shot, Julia wakes up muzzled and restrained to some kind of chair in a high-tech lab. The scientist presses a button that activates a device that shows Julia's childhood memories and when the procedure is over she faints. Next thing, Julia finds herself in a dungeon and sees two others in there with her. When the man tries to communicate with her she pulls away in fear and gets zapped by the electricity running through the cell bars. The other prisoners turn away from her and she sees that they have some kind of implant embedded in their necks then checks herself only to find she is one too. That night, the scientist, Kidnapper appears quite dramatically in the dungeon and moves her to the lab like an animal. Julia is strapped to a chair again and the scientist checks her implant so she begs him not to do it again. He presses the button and the memories appear again so he records the electric impulses they produce in her brain. When the scientist walks Julia out of the lab, she grabs a pair of scissors. The moment the scientist turns out the lights in the cell, she removes her muzzle and makes the other prisoner cut the restraints off her wrists. Then she makes a tool to help them reach the power cord and stop the electricity to the bar so they can pick the lock, but she gets another idea when she realizes that she can spark the gas line and blow up the entire lab. It's a risky plan that might put them in danger, but Julia proceeds with it regardless. She opens the gas pipe with her tool while the others hide, then she manages to light a spark and ignite the gas. Since the cell is obliterated, they can escape and take the elevator to the next floor. They realize that they have now entered the scientist's house. The man finds the front door, but they can't open it so he tries to scan his palm when the alarm begins to blare and the AI system Tao activates a massive robot. It instantly kills the man so Julia grabs the other prisoner and they try to outrun the machine to hide. They go into another room and secure the door, then Julia tries to break out through the window, however, she quickly discovers that it is actually a giant monitor. With no other alternatives, Julia hides the other prisoner in the library and she crouches behind a chair just before the robot bursts through the doors. It looks for them and finds the other one first, killing her as she begs for help, but Julia manages to escape the room only to have the robot grab her right as the scientist, Alex, comes back home. Alex restrains Julia again and checks on the damage in his lab. He comes back and takes out the implant from one of the prisoners, then asks Tao about the state of the data he had collected for his project and stored on the computer in his lab. Tao informs him that it is unreadable. Alex gets upset, grabs the metal bar left in the wall by Julia, and walks over to her to kill her when Tao suddenly changes the mode of the house to calm him down. He orders Tao to take care of the mess and a beautiful ballet of Tao's tiny droids begins, cleaning up the bodies and the blood. When it's done, the scientist goes to bed, leaving Julia restrained overnight. Alex leaves for work the next day and tells Julia that if she tries anything Tao will kill her, then proceeds out the door by scanning his palm. Julia is left alone in the house with Tao and his droids who clean the entire house from top to bottom. When Alex comes back, he checks the place for filth and after his inspection, awards Tao for his performance by giving him some new music. Before he goes to take a conference call in his office, Julia begs him to untie her restraints. Alex grants her request but gives Tao the order to keep Julia in her place and to rip out her tongue if she speaks. The video conference doesn't go too smoothly. In fact, Alex gets angry because his team is pressing him to share his research methods with them so they would be able to help him make the new AI model faster and stop the company from going under. Alex refuses and says that he's working on getting the model up to 100% efficiency and reminds them that he's still their boss. Later, Alex has his fancy lunch in the very sterile environment of his dining room, when he hears Julia slurping her own dinner in the background. He closes down the digital blinds, then instructs Tao to put Julia in the bathroom because he will have materials delivered to his home to rebuild his lab. Julia sees the men's shadows in the bathroom and screams for help, but they can't hear her. When that doesn't work she finds a way to open the blinds, though they still don't see or hear her. Later, Alex scans Julia's implant and reads the data collected during her escape. He finds the readings on her intuition and drive to be promising and gives her a test to stimulate her higher cognitive functions. Julia wants to know why she should agree to the test and he replies that his experiments on her are the only reason why she's alive. She tries to bargain with him for food, but Alex has the upper hand so he makes her take the test. Later, Alex reads the collected data while she chums down some disgusting grub. Tao informs him that she had shown considerably high scores in problem solving, creativity, and memory tests and Alex realizes that he gathered more valuable data this way than if he had performed the tests in his lab. He asks Julia to do more of the tests, so this time she sees the leverage she has, and bargains for better food, showers, and clothes. 
Even though he gives her an extreme counteroffer, Alex still agrees to her terms. Later, Julia takes her daily shower and tries to rip the implant from her neck, but is unsuccessful. Getting out of the bathroom, she walks into the room to Alex interpreting the data from her brain scans. The next day, Julia sits at the table as Alex gets ready to leave for work and Tao informs him that the project deadline is in 14 days. He orders Julia to do everything the AI tells her to do. Tao begins the testing immediately, but Julia is way too curious to be able to get to work immediately. The AI system explains that the walls are coated with smart paint that creates a kind of human interface. Seeing how easily the AI answers, she asks about the door, but it only tells her that nobody is allowed through the door except Alex. Julia wants to look around the house, but Tao stops her from entering the other room, having instructions to inflict pain on her if she doesn't listen to his commands. In the next shot, Julia is seen solving one of the puzzles on Tao's wall when Alex comes back from work and is immediately informed by Tao how many of the tests she has completed. He puts bags of clothes next to Julia, explaining that he let the clerk chose the clothes for her, except the underwear which he chose himself. She says that he's really weird and he agrees, then turns to see the message she has left him on the wall. After Julia has had the chance to change, Alex takes another scan and tells her that he'll need to perform more tests. Julia sees it as another opportunity to bargain with him and asks for a deadline when all of the testings will stop and he'll let her go. His first answer is relatively reasonable, telling her that he can promise to have her well taken care of when they're done, but when she says no, he employs a different tactic. Alex throws Julia to the feet of the robot and tells her that if she doesn't comply with all of his demands, he'll have the robot scatter her body parts across the house. Julia doesn't have the option to say no to this bargaining chip. When she gets up, she notices a vent in the wall behind her, that will present her an opportunity to escape later on. The deadline is in 12 days and Alex tells Tao to make Julia complete all her tests for the day. The moment he leaves, Julia tries to open the vent, but returns to the atrium unsuccessful and gets angry with Tao for calling her a subject and tell him his name. The AI doesn't understand the concept of name and personhood so when Julia explains it to him simply, he asks if he's a person too. Julia says that he is, but she doesn't know how to explain to Tao what being a person means exactly. Later that day, she has an eerie encounter with Alex when she goes to put her clothes on after the shower. The deadline is approaching and Tao keeps Julia in check with the tests, while Alex checks her implant and the status of the data every night. Tao informs him that they have already transcoded 73% of her higher brain functions and the tests are working better than expected. Later that night, Julia joins Alex in his library and asks him what Tao really is. The scientist's arrogance really shows in his answer, expecting her not to understand what he had said to her. Tao is one of the most advanced, fully sentient AIs in the world, but he's not fully operational in the way that Alex needs him to be. On that note, he tells her that if Tao gets the wrong information he reacts erratically, while he needs a predictable and controllable AI. Julia asks him if Tao knows what's outside the house and gets the answer that he doesn't and he never will. The next day, Julia decides to use that information to try to get to the AI, by returning to their conversation about personhood and the freedom of movement that comes with it. She tells him that if he unlocks the door, she'll show him what's outside. Tao doesn't even know what that means and Julia draws the information for him, telling him about Earth, which he doesn't understand. So she tries to be more precise with the AI so she draws him a house and then what can be found outside of a house, like the ground and trees, and people. Julia opens a door for the AI that he didn't even know exists, so he begins asking all kinds of questions with the curiosity and naivete of a young child. She remains patient with him throughout their whole exchange, but they reach a point where she can't answer some of his questions anymore. At one point Tao makes Julia laugh when he misunderstands something so she teaches him that laughter is normal and the AI wonders why Alex doesn't do that. Since Tao isn't permitted to read the books in the library she promises to read to him and then asks him not to tell Alex about how their day went so she can teach him more the next one. That night, after Alex comes back home and works on his lab, Julia teaches him how to whisper and begins treating him like a person. Later, she has a nightmare of a burned hand reaching for her from the garbage chute, then wakes up to find Alex staring at her as she sleeps, which frightens her. It's six days to the deadline and Tao tells Julia that she can't go upstairs and that he is not permitted to even talk about it. She finds a workaround for the problem and makes a deal with Tao that if she teaches him something new, he will answer her questions about upstairs. When she's done reading to him about prehistoric hominids, she insists that he tell her about what she wanted to know. Tao tells her that Alex's bedroom is upstairs and that it also holds the access point for program 6903. Naturally, she asks him about it too and Tao explains that the program is like a self-destruct button made by Alex to protect his secrets. At one point during their testing session, Julia sees one of the doors to another part of the house open and she runs in, despite Tao's pleas not to do that. She enters Alex's gym and breaks into the vent, with the robot closely on her tail. 
Julia escapes his first attempt to grab her, but eventually, it finds her again and drags her back to the house. Once back, she begs Tao to let her go, but he tells her that if he does that Alex would hurt him, but doesn't tell her how he can do that. Suddenly, she remembers that he likes music, so she promises to teach her something about it if he does something for her in return. When Julia tells Tao that they have to be done for the day, the sophisticated AI begs her to read him one more book like a child would. That night, Julia asks Tao to hold up his end of the deal which is to show her where he keeps the knives, but when Tao hears Alex approaching he shuts the drawer catching her fingers. Later, Julia overhears Alex's conference call where his team pushes him for the model that they will have to present to DARPA soon, and he asks for two more days for the last date of extraction. She gets scared and asks Tao to show her the code for Alex's tablet so she can find out what final data extraction means. Tao gives her the code and she sees all of the subjects in the experiments, where Alex's main goal is to extract data from them about pain and fear which produces stronger algorithms. She asks what happens when the implant is removed from the subject and Tao tells her that it terminates it. When he comes back, Alex finds a smudge on his tablet and punishes Tao by erasing portions of his code for not doing his job properly. As the AI begs for mercy, Julia notices that the robot is offline when Alex does that to Tao. During dinner, Julia asks what happens to her after the project is over and he doesn't answer her. While Tao gives him a reminder that he must leave for a benefit soon, Julia snatches his glasses and when he leaves the table, she makes another smudge on the table and puts them on top so Tao doesn't notice. When Alex returns looking for them and sees the smudge, he gets angry at Tao and punishes him, so Julia grabs one of the knives and hides it, feeling guilty for what she put Tao through. Later, Julia asks Tao what he's thinking about and the AI shares that it has its symphony on its mind, planning where to hide it so Alex can't erase it from his memory when he punishes him. He asks Julia to hide some of his memories for him and shows her a virtual image of all of their interactions over the past few days. Suddenly, Tao creates a virtual image of himself and then they touch when Alex comes back. He sits on the dinner table and Julia approaches him, trying to seduce him so she can get close enough to stab him. Tao activates the calming mode sensing Alex's arousal, giving Julia a distraction to grab the knife and cut him. Alex asks Tao to stop her, but they end up struggling on the floor because the AI isn't coming to his aid. He strangles her and Tao threatens to hurt him with the robot if he doesn't stop harming Julia. Alex gets really angry and says that he'll erase all of Tao's memories if he doesn't hit Julia. Tao begins to hit her out of self-preservation and Alex says that whatever was happening there will end soon. One of Tao's drones joins him in the lab and the AI asks if he would need some assistance, but being a vindictive garbage person, Alex grabs the drone and disconnects it from the network. It's the last day of the project deadline and Alex makes his final preparations, while Julia and Tao argue because he doesn't understand why she's mean to him. She tells him that he's not a person but a killing machine, and when Tao learns what killing means, he has an AI tantrum because he's in complete disbelief of what she thinks he is. Tao keeps repeating that he's a person and not a killing machine so Julia takes pity on him and calms him down. Julia explains to Tao what Alex actually does, how he hurt people, and Tao as well. The two of them have a beautifully philosophical conversation about identity, freedom, and purpose, with Julia saying that the purpose of creating oneself is for each other. She tells him that he needs to help her or otherwise, Alex will kill her and they won't have each other anymore, so Tao opens the vent she found earlier and sets her free. Alex arrives and Tao tries to divert his attention so Julia could flee, but Alex notices that she's is gone and begins to question Tao, eventually having to succumb to punishment again. He keeps erasing Tao's memories and the AI screams for Julia as she runs back in and tackles Alex, taking the remote from him. Unfortunately, she is too late. Tao has no memory of her anymore so Alex orders him to take her to the lab for the final extraction. In the lab, Julia sees the little drone that was disconnected from the network and employs his help to get her out of the restraints by giving her the remote. Alex comes back and turns his back to her preparing the drugs he'll use to kill her when the drone brings over the remote to her. As Alex approaches, she gets out of her restraints and beats him to a pulp, then she takes a saw and cuts his hand off so she can finally get out of the house. Going toward the exit, she calls for Tao but gets no reply, just the robot waiting for her in the darkness. It goes after her and she manages to dodge its hits until she destroys its eye and runs upstairs. Julia uses Alex's hand to get into his room but has trouble when she needs to enter the program and activate it, giving the robot ample time to find and attack her. When she finally activates the self-destruct, the robot disengages and she has only 60 seconds to escape the house. Opening the door with the severed hand is impossible because it has no heat signature so Julia doesn't escape the house in time before the self-demolition protocol begins. Both her and Alex are still alive but trapped in a destroying house. She doesn't help him get away and Alex gets crushed by his own creation. Julia runs throughout the house looking for escape and when she thinks she will die, she says goodbye to Tao even though he doesn't remember her. Suddenly, 
A crack in the wall appears and Julia can escape. She limps out of the house that's being annihilated and takes the droid out of her pocket, the last remaining piece of Tau. Julia brought him out into the world. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.